Samuel, what are you doing? Are you playing in the dirt again, bud? Well, hey, we're back. Um, what I want to do in this video is highlight what we're doing with our tomatoes. Pretty excited about it. Two days ago, I set up um, three, oh, probably eight or nine foot tall trellises using some electrical conduit, metal electrical conduit. I bought it. Home Depot. I spent probably a total of uh, 40 or 50 bucks on this project, but it'd be something I can reuse again and again and again. Basically, I bought uh, nine segments of 10 foot long metal electrical conduit, they're half inch, um, half inch thick. The guys at Home Depot built some, or bent some 90 degree elbows there for me from the pieces I was using for the top. Also bought some uh, six foot tall, six foot long uh, pieces of rebar that I had cut in half. So what I did was I got three foot long segments of rebar on each of these that I pounded in the ground with a sledgehammer. And then we, after assembling the framework on the ground, uh, my wife and I kind of hoisted them up and slid them right over the uh, over the rebar. And then I used my weight and just kind of drove them in the ground about a foot and a half or so. So anyway, the end result is this nice, neat little trellis. And I've got 24 tomato plants. Uh, I think six different varieties. Some of them a little more vigorous than others, depending on the type. But uh, I strung some twine down, secured it to my framework at the bottom using, you know, wind it, uh, looping it around the framework and then tying a little slip knot at the end so I can loosen it out if I need to. Okay, we're almost done, bud. Uh, but the idea here is as these tomatoes grow, I'm going to train them to climb this twine and how I'm gonna do that is once well once they reach to the point where they're they're touching the twine as they're growing straight up I'm gonna take each plant like I've done with this one here and I'm just gonna take the plant and just kind of twist it around the twine and uh, the twine will stay twisted along this along the main vine because of the branches that are coming out on tomato to kind of hold it. And I'm just going to continue to do that as they grow. Should work out pretty good. Last year, a tomato's got it. Hey, Samuel, no. Last year, a tomato's got about seven foot tall. We were in, in at least seven foot. We were using some cages that are over at a friend's house. And they grew right up the cage and up and over it and down the other side. So it'd be interesting to see what happens um, by the time frost comes, you know, beginning of October, how tall these things are and how productive they'll be going this approach. Um, some tips. Last year I didn't prune them a whole lot. This year I'm gonna be a little more proactive since I'm using this, you know, kind of trellis approach. Basically, these little suckers that are growing between the main main vine and the branches, let those get, you know, long. And if they don't produce flowers, like they're not gonna be fruitful, I snip them off. I just simply take them and like this one here. just snap right off. And uh, by doing that, the plant's energy isn't wasted on, on foliage. It's not going to be productive. You know, and you can be selective. You don't have to be militant about, you know, snipping off every one. Because, like I said, some of those are going to um, turn into flowers or uh, support flowers like this one over here. And 
that case, I'll leave that there because that's going to produce fruit. There's another one here. I'm also using some uh, grass clippings, you know, two decent handfuls around each plant. Grass clippings break down pretty quick and it's going to provide some nitrogen, some uh, trace nutrients, stuff that the plants need to grow, and also suppress weeds forming. So hopefully it work out pretty well. I'm excited. Again, 24 tomato plants. I'm going to grow them up these trellis. I'm going to have to be a little diligent, you know, and kind of keep tabs on these. But it should work out pretty well. But have you got anything else to say? Goodbye. You said goodbye. All right. Well, we'll make a few more videos um, as the season goes on to see how tall these things do get and how productive they'll be. I guess that's it. Bye. See you later.